Hello, everybody. So, so glad to be here again with you. Waken Sales uh, Facebook Live today. We're going to be talking about enjoying yourself. So, what's more powerful than allowing ourselves to enjoy ourselves on this journey? I know that that's one of the biggest things that um, is a priority for all of you is you want to enjoy your life. You want to enjoy yourself. You don't want to you didn't get into doing this uh, world changing stuff uh, to rock your sacred purpose, to have it be a drag or to have it be a bunch of uh, a bunch of like you got to make this happen and make that happen. So what can we do to make, allow ourselves to experience more bliss and allow our results to flow from the bliss and to really trust that? So we're going to talk about that to get started today. Then we'll do some uh, group training. Um, group training, that's funny. Yeah, we'll do some group training. Um, but we'll also do some group energy scanning. And then we're going to do, um, again, the channel that I am, I feel like I'm all over the place. But I'm going to be channeling in for you guys individually as well, for those of you that want to receive an energy scan today. And then I'm also going to do my usual channel messages and channel prayer at the end. All right, so let's talk about this um, for a moment. Hi, Mary, good to see you. Uh, let's talk about, you know, how can we guarantee more joy and bliss in our marketing and sales? I've been thinking about this a lot um, as I'm formulating new offerings and, and whatnot in my business for you guys. Uh, actually, when I think about it, like the most popular thing I ever did it was a summit called Raise Your Vibration and Grow Your Healing Business in terms of numbers of people that came to attend. We had 6,000 people attend that event. Now, that was 10 years ago, but it, it by far was the most successful summit I ever had done. So it tells you something. You guys just want to experience wealth and prosperity by raising your consciousness and experiencing all the fruits of that within yourself and letting the material to unfold from there realizing that the number one thing we're really interested in is how we're allowing ourselves to come back home deepening our awakening deepening into our center allowing our vibration to raise and allow everything to come simplified and easy from that space so there are strategic ways we can do that on top of all the high vibe stuff that we can do by just getting into the channel that I love to be in together with you all the time. So what are some of those things? So on a foundational level, are you, I'll, I'll back it up into self-care, which is one of the things I wanted to talk about today. Are you looking at your life as a, a goal to achieve <laughs> or are you looking at your life as a practice of embodiment and self-care. It's kind of the two choices you, you know, as many choices you have, but like, let's look at just those two choices because those are kind of the two choices that you have a lot of times um, is presented to the mind in business. Um, the other one, I guess, is I'm just playing around. I'm going to make some money and see what happens. But let's take the two choices. Okay, it's a goal to, to build your business and do this stuff and, um, or it's about, you know, and driving home these results, or it's about more what I'm talking about with raising my vibration, my embodiment, deepening my embodiment so that the results just are become inevitable because I'm in such high resonance and clarity and my energy that everything becomes clear inside of me and things are happening. And I think everybody would pick number two, right? Everybody in this group would pick number two first. You might say, well, I want goals too. But if the goals come with encumbrance, heaviness, attachments, the goals really aren't very good. <laughs> They're actually going to sabotage you. You know, goals for people who are not deepening their embodiment for, for folks like you become just unsightly things that are heavy and uh, aren't too fun, especially if they're not things you actually can directly achieve. In other words, I'm going to make 100K this month or this year or whatever, and then you're focused on this goal, but you have no direct control in allowing it to happen. But if you said, I'm going to make five new outreaches to people this week, you have 
you know, it's just basic goal setting, right? Those are fine. But how do we come up with those goals in the first place? Because to me, it is both, but it's allowing yourself to allow the the um, this the energy, the integration, the embodiment to come first, and then the goal of the intention selects almost selects itself. It, it, it actually does select itself in many cases. So. We're getting into a higher vibe and getting embodied with the, the higher vibrational energy, letting it land in our energy in our body. Then what is what I would call, what I called many years ago, I, I came up with this term way before all this stuff on the internet these days. What are your soul goals? You know, what are your, what is your soul telling you? Hey, this is the focus, you know, what are you getting from that space? And, and when we're coming from this place of embodiment and raising our vibration, we're, we are in a place of self-care. We are taking care of ourselves. How can we guarantee results by doing that? Well, number one, you're going to feel good. When you feel good, good things happen. When you feel good, good things will happen. The more you allow yourself to get in your fears and constrictions or trying to force something to happen, even if you get results, out of results, they're going to blow up in your face at, at some point. It's been my constant experience, okay? They, they do. They just blow up in your face. So um, at least that's been my experience. And I find like most people like yourself won't even do something if it has the potential to have bad energy. And many of you won't even go down that road. So... Um, so so the, the, the key is to allow ourselves to... Focus on, some people say, loving yourself and all this, yes, but we want to just allow ourselves to be uh, doing the meditative practices, the prayers, um, all these things that, that we want to do on a daily basis. Um, I used to be, you know, everybody teach their own, but there needs to be a consistency in it, that it's a daily and you're doing it at a you know, specific time every day, typically. Um, you know, first time, first thing in the morning, Maybe right after, if you have, you know, your first meal of the day, if that's lunch in my case or whatever it might be, but, and then maybe once at night, like just allowing yourself to be connected. Because if you allow yourself to be connected, you'll realize you're one with the, with source by being in those practices. And then by being in those practices, it allows you to become sustainable. You know, you're not sustainable when um, you keep chasing out results um and because that the motiv motivational energy will dry up eventually and it will it will have you contemplate giving up you know on things giving up either on your specific focus that you had been intending like oh it's too much i just can't do it or it will have you want to give up your business which happens to a lot of people i don't just want to do the business i don't even want to get started you know it may have never even really got started but i won't even get started because it's too heavy and I just want to be in the good energy, right? So, but you can do both. You can be in even greater energy and serve people and make lots of money. You just need some instruction on it. So I'll give you some tips today. So the number one thing is throughout the day, are you feeling like you're taking care of yourself no matter what you're doing? If you're doing marketing sales, if you're serving clients, uh, if you're doing the dishes, if you're doing, I don't care anything you're doing in your business or life, really. If in that moment it doesn't feel like it's self care, it doesn't feel like it's nourishing you, then chances are almost 100% that you shouldn't be doing that right now. I, I, I know it sounds extreme. Maybe many of you are in difficult situations, some of you anyway. I uh, have people to take care, take for it. It's not a, not fun, you know. But why isn't it fun? Why isn't it more joyful? Why is it not bring you into bliss and joy? It's because there's something you're resisting, and things could be quite different than than they are. So I won't go too deep into that hole because that's a whole other conversation. But let's say it's in your business, okay? I don't don't want to have to do my sales consults or you know whatever my discovery calls or whatever they are for you guys, energy scans what have you. I don't want to do them or I don't want to have to do my marketing today. I just want to chill out and learn stuff. We all love to learn stuff, right? So let me just learn more stuff. Well, that's great. I mean, that's nourishing. But if that's primarily what you're doing, you're not taking enough time to do joyful marketing uh, and sales, 
then you know if you're not taking whatever amount of time it's, it's required for you like 5 10 20 hours a week whatever it may be then you're just not you know many of you anyway will not see the results that you want um, who knows how much time and focus it needs for each of you it's very, it can vary based on what really feels good for you really so what feels good to you how much focus and attention do i want to give to sharing with people through my Facebook lives, my webinars, my podcasts, my, um, how many consults do I want to make available? If I'm treating myself like uh, divine royalty, how many people do I want to sit in a seat in, uh, in front of me? Um, not from arrogance or ego, but just what feels good. It might be a hundred people a week. It might be one, you know, I, it doesn't really matter to me. What feels good to you? What puts you in your connection, your, into your true power? So really paying attention to that is huge and that will definitely guarantee you more joy and bliss in your marketing and sales right there. And then you can do other things I've mentioned here before probably, but you can come up with um, what we call your bliss list. You know, come up with, write down the things you love doing, let's say in your business. Like what do you love doing in your business? Come up with three to five at least, you know, maybe up to 10 and then maybe narrow it down to three or five, maybe even come to up with your top three is, is just a real good way to do it. And then when you have your top three um, to really focus in on those aspects of your business, particularly uh, in your sales and marketing, because that's the driver of your business for most of us. Um, of course, taking care of our clients should be always number one. Um, but I'm saying like in terms of gaining new clients, uh, that's usually where we need to focus. So, and we help more people. Remember marketing and sales is about helping people. It shouldn't, it's not like Coca-Cola ads. It's not, not, you know, not necessarily it's, although, Hey, um, that one commercial back in the seventies, right? I love to give the world a Coke and sing a per not like me, but like sing a perfect harmony or whatever I can, <laughs> the opposite of how I'm singing, but you know what I'm saying? Like that actually was a value. I mean, that was a beautiful resonant um, energy despite whatever their product was. <laughs> it's like, so how can, there are ways, there are creative and unique ways you could be doing marketing and sales. It will be completely different than what you're envisioning in your mind, how it's supposed to be. I want you to start opening your horizons. This is a part of elevating your consciousness. What if sales can be, um, uh, like a symphony unfolding through you rather than something um, you just have to do, right? So how, when you come up with your bliss list, your top three to five ways, like let's say you just do one on marketing and sales, like what are my top three ways of marketing and selling or my top five ways? Then you can narrow in on those things and just say, okay, I'm going to focus here every day. These are the things and taking care of my clients. And then that's that's it. Like I do like maybe 10% of my time or less on admin, and that's it. You know, have that mindset. And oh, oh, of course you have learning and all those sorts of things. So that may be another part of it, but you know, what if that's basically it? So, um, so to allow yourself to just really, uh, to focus there and let everything else go, all the shiny objects. Well, you could be doing this, you could be doing that. Oh, that sounds smart. That sounds smart. Let me try that. Okay, but you you don't have any desire to do it, but you're just hoping to get clients from it. So just ditch those things. I've made those mistakes many times along the way. And it's just like, you got to let go of it because the chance of it producing anything significant is next to zero, you know, like next to zero for you guys. If it's not of a high vibrational resonance, the chance of it working at almost zero. Uh, you know, we might get some kind of results out of it, but even those may not be so great. Um, and even if they bring you a lot of money, they'll probably be on, it'll probably turn into unhappy money is my guess. So, um, so what are the things that bring you bliss and focus on those in your business? That's that simple. Well, you can trust that it's going to it's going to allow yourself and if everything's self-care, then you will realize I have to hire people to do things. Like there was a task today that needed to get done in my business. And I was like, oh my God, I totally don't want, and it was marketing related. I was just like, there's no way, like if you get that feeling, like you got to either reapproach how you're doing something or you need to delegate it when you have this feeling. Um, 
I feel like I'd almost rather die than do that today. Like that kind of feeling, you know, maybe it's not literal, but you almost feel like you could rather die. Um, now, either you're massively, re you know, uh, resisting something because you're not letting it be fun enough. And you're just not willing to get make a breakthrough. That's possible. Um, so you need to reapproach it or... Uh, it's something that you really shouldn't be doing, and you should be having someone else take care of it or let go of it altogether. So you decide. So focus on the things that bring you bliss. Let go of all the rest. Everybody's saying, hey, do this, do this, do this, do this. All day long, we have so many things screaming at us. Do this. This is everything. No, it isn't. Leave me alone. <laughs> leave myself alone I don't want to go with that I want to focus on what's resonant and joyful and blissful for me and that's it hi Kelsey hi everybody okay so those are my my tips for today on, on doing that so when you do that I guarantee you'll not only have more joy and bliss but you're going to sooner than rather than later you're going to see new results in your business including more sales and more success Okay, so let's do, so we're gonna do some energy scanning, all right? It's about t high time to do that. I'm gonna do a group one, and then I'll do some individual energy scans. Again, if you guys have all been here before, of course, my priority is towards people maybe that haven't received one, but always happy to do energy scanning for everybody. Um, so if you want an individual energy scan, put in energy scan, please. Or if you have a specific question you want me to energy scan around or just tune into and channel an answer for you, I'll do channeled answers today too. Put, um, put down your question below. Just put your, if you have a question, put a question below. If you, um, if you have, if you would like an energy scan, put energy scan, please. If you'd like to just comment on anything and say anything, feel free to do that as well. Do what you like, okay? What, what's, what feels good, all right. So let me go ahead and um, let's tune in for the group today. Um, and again, a lot of times it's around the subject we just talked about, but not always. Let's see. Everybody here and listening later. Yeah, just that theme keeps coming in. I I like to give the world a Coke. Perfect harmony. Ba -bum 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 -bum. So it's like I just I, I I'm seeing some of you guys individually, some of you that may not even attend this um this live later, but like I get this feeling like there's this divine harmonics that's trying to guide and lead you, and you're partially connected to it. Um, you're, you're, you're getting the vibe, but it only comes in so far. Like, it comes in through your crown, your third eye, and then and then it just kind of, maybe through the throat a little bit, and then it just feels like it just starts kind of dying out, off, you know, as it goes deeper in your energy field in your body. So... So what we want to do is just to, to work with that vibration so that when divine harmonics of joy and bliss are coming in, that you're a full, you're willing to be a full yes to it, to get in alignment with that joy and bliss and realize you're safe, that you're not going to be squashed like a bug. Um, you know, because that's what happens when we're kids. Like, again, myself and so many people I've talked to over the years, we've all had these experiences like you're like, we are having the best time of your life and then something happened like i remember when i was a kid um i was having this great time and all of a sudden i stepped into a top hat i had as a kid and i just it just in that moment it broke me so to speak of my joy nobody even did anything to me so to speak right out there that whole idea but um it was like i did it to myself you know like i just did something careless and i was and i just remember being so sad like it broke my joy um, or maybe you're playing around and then you have your parents say, hey, quiet it down, you know, and you're just having a great time. You're like, oh, I guess I'm not supposed to be so happy, right? Just how we equate it with something. Uh, or we were having a good time and then we were killed in a past life. Like we didn't even do, we didn't do anything wrong, right? <laughs> I was following the rules. I was going along with it, actually. Um, so this idea of breaking from the pack, being joyful, um, that there's authorities outside of you that could take your power away to be joyful and let's clear that. Let no longer could that be so. All right, so let's do some of that energy. Let's 
Sovereign. Sovereign in your bliss and joy. Yes. So start listening to your heart more instead of your head. You know, just a real basic guidance on that. So what I'm bringing vibrations to support this, but also getting that guidance. You know, go with go with your heart and align that with your power center. You know, allow align your heart center with your power center and your lower chakras. Allow yourself to land and, and serve with love and joy when you're safe. When you're connected with your heart and then through your lower chakras, you're, you're whole, you're well, you're safe, you're moving forward. So just feel that vibration flowing through you and know you're safe to show up fully, visibly as who you are, joyfully and fulfilled and be fulfilled. When people say you're a big weirdo, thank them. Thank them because you're the kind of big weirdo that's meant to to lead the way. Thank you, God. And so it is. All right. One more. Okay, let's see. One more thing for the group. Okay, witchcraft no more. Okay, so let's see what that's all about. Let's unpack that idea. Just clearing out any senses of, of curses, being cursed. Uh, that's, yeah, there we go. The innocence is joy is flowing there. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. All that's removed. Joyful, joyful flow. So I'm going to remove that from the upper fields. I see some more in the body and throat. You're the good witch. Okay, if you want. Um, the good wizard, the good witch, the good healer. Okay, you're here to do well. You're here to do good. Okay, so we're stand for joy, fulfillment, and divine sovereignty to joyfully live our lives, be firm with it and clear, no nonsense, and nothing can touch us from this space and prospering from that place easily. Being generous with giving and receiving, with receiving and giving, with receiving and giving, okay. Remembering receiving is giving, receiving is giving. Receiving is giving. Truly receiving is true giving. Thank you, God. And so it is. I'm ready to receive new clients, new opportunities, to be blessed in my life, to be raised up into my next level, whatever that means for me. And I'm a yes to it. Thank you, God. And so it is. It's easy. Thank you, God. And so it is. Okay. All right. So there was a couple of things coming through there. All right. It was, hey, everybody, do you want, would you like me to tune in and just channel some messages for you for some, what I call energy scanning, tune in your energy or maybe your chakras. Just, you can just put energy scan, please, below. Um, if you've got a specific question, something like, uh, man, I got this going on in my business or your life or whatever it may be, you can feel free to ask a question. I'll tune into it and address that for you. Remember, whatever, whenever you step up to ask to receive, you are giving to the group. Remember, the more you're willing to step up to receive for your else, it is giving to the group. So whatever comes through is perfect. Um, yeah, so whatever is coming through here is perfect. But yeah, so anyway, so I haven't seen anything yet. So any energy scans um, for you? Or do you have a question that you'd like to ask Source? You know, not so much me, because I'm going to be just channeling and tuning into it. It's less me and more from the channel, whatever it is that will support you now. Okay. And if we don't have any uh, requests, we'll just move on. But 
Did I put a comment? Oh, okay, Coco. Let's do one for Coco then. Good. So thank you, Coco. Um, all right. Anybody else before I start with Coco's? Gonna go ahead and put your comment in whenever you like. Okay. Oh, Brian one wants wants one too. Thanks, Lois. Thank for letting me know. I don't even see Brian's on here at all. Okay, thank you for having my back on that. Okay, so let's start with um, Coco and then we can go to Brian. Thank you for seeing the comments. Oh, okay. Okay, let me see. We've got some requests, folks. We're going to get to those. That's why I have my backup of my laptop here. I'm going to uh, have to refresh the screen because it's not showing me anything there yet either. And then we'll get it from there. I got Mary with the energy scan. So I see that. This computer is a little slow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of comments in here. So. It's funny, there's a bunch of comments, but they're not showing them to me. <laughs> that is so bizarre. So you guys, if you can help me out, let me know who's asking for energy scans. That'd be great. So I know a couple of them so far. So we've got Brian and we've got Coco so far. Okay. Okay. So let's start, let's start with uh, Coco. Then Brian, then Mary. Okay, I don't know if that was the order because I'm not seeing the comments. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know it's, why not. It's coming through. Okay, so let me tune in. This is for uh, Coco we'll start with. Okay, it's like you've got this um, incredible, like this incredible magic. Like you see, a, like a star wand, like a magic wand. They show it like a star wand, and um, it feels it's in like in it's in here, but it's being protected. It's it's uh, yeah, it's like it's like a sense of oh, you know, we've got to to guard it. Um, It's a feeling of like others could maybe pull you and um, try to take advantage of you um, um, in terms of that, but also in terms of your joy. Like when you get joy, hey, my, my sense of you is you tend to be like, yeah, let's do it all, whatever it is. And um, when you really get joyful, a really high vibe, um, and, and, then, and then something happens that's not so great. Okay, so that's the pattern. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I feel like uh, part of the answer is um, I see the crown on your head. So um, honoring yourself as the, the queen, uh, queenish energy or whatever. <laughs> um, and, and that... Yeah, remember, divine providence is is um, is yours. You're, and that you're grounded. You're grounded in this. Like you can imagine, like you know. Um, sometimes I do things like this. Like you can imagine a crown on your head, and a scepter in your hand. You know, or your maybe a scepter is more uh, grounding probably, but a scepter in your hand, uh, incredible jewels and emeralds on it. And like you got that in your hand and it's just like, hmm, what shall I have? What shall I enjoy today? You know, like, because it, it, it grounds you and honors you rather than the, when you feel all that just unbridled joy. Um, it's just like, we, but your energy is like leaving your body. So, and then it's not such a fun time. So stay in your body here. Um, you're more grounded and you can experience more embodied joy is how I see it. And then it becomes safe and fulfilling and uh, um, most effective in every way. Okay. Okay. Then you can use... Use your magic wand um, with a sense of like, okay, I can trust that now more. Okay, 
trust my magic more. And things like money become easy and you can trust it. And then you can bring these blessings into other people, like letting things be easy and magical for them. Okay. So you can just say to somebody, you can have that, you know, and you've done this, I'm sure already, but you're going to have that. It's like something opens up inside and they're like, yes, I can. Thank you for saying that or whatever. Like they, for you, when it comes from you, you're like that queen energy and it ignites them and it lightens, lightens them up. And they're like, oh, you're right. I can have that. Yay. Okay. So these are just brief ones, three to five minutes or so. Oh, Coco, uh, grateful to share with you today. Um, let me know if, if you have any feedback or thoughts on that. Uh, Brian, I can see a comment from you now. Yes, I did have a question as well. If there's anything um, I needed to know. Okay, great, thanks. So let's tune in for Brian next. So the wizard, the, this wizard magic energy seems to be a part of the theme today. For you, I feel like the, that energy is a little bit more in the upper fields. Um, and then down, you just generally speaking, then the down here, you're more, um, the focus and tension of the consciousness seems to be like, oh, geez, what can I have? You know, like it's more like, what can I have? The wizard up here that's not in your body just yeah it will work with the energy is like you can have just about anything you we really want you know it's about anything we really want it's more that kind of vibe okay so we can bring that energy in for you and everybody else that uh, is looking for this Let this flow from your right brain into your left brain, that you are the magical energy. All opportunities are available to you. That would serve your highest destiny. And they're easy. So the new question is, how do I want to play? What, what opportunities do I want to play with? I know I can have anything, so when I become awake to the truth that I can have anything, then what opportunities do I want to play with and manifest from there? Let that energy flow from your right brain to your left brain, and breathe it in from your right brain into your uh, right brain into your left brain. Right brain instructs your left brain that's already created. It's already done. It's already happening. So you breathe it from your right brain into your left brain. You can take this sort of um, um, technique, by the way, everybody. I'm doing a very short version, but um, you can breathe it in through your right side of your body from the ground. Have it come up through your right brain and then breathe it into your left brain and then down through your left part of your body into the earth and just letting that be solid in your energy so whatever the um intention is whatever it is that's true really really you feel from your soul wants to come in and bring it up from the ground up through your right brain down through your left brain down through your left part of your body into the earth Breathe that intention in with uh, three breaths. Go through the process at least three times.
Okay. And if you're, if you, again, don't get too, con, don't let this confuse you. If your, your right brain, your, your left brain might be actually coming, uh, might be speaking to you about what it is because that's the part that speaks, right? But your right brain is bringing in the energy to allow it to be done. And it integrates into your left brain in that process. And then left brain becomes the hunter um, even subconsciously to focus on um, letting it be done. It just automatically, you don't even have to do anything about it. Just automatically, both sides of your brain really are hunting in a sense, like hunting, I don't know, what, or gathering it, whatever you want to say, but attracting it, letting it be. Okay. All right. Grateful to share with you. Coco says, when your energy came through, <clears throat> it felt like being tickled. I couldn't stop giggling. <laughs> Thank you. That makes so much sense. I had a vision of the queen this week that was in a mirrored reflection during my meditation that I couldn't quite access until now. Yay. Thank you. Oh, I, I love this. So on point. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. All right. And then, um, Brian, let me know, um, if you had any feedback on that too. Um, and then Mary, I think is next. Okay. Let's go ahead to, uh, Mary next. I feel your I feel your experience of your your guides or you know whatever the the team <clears throat> it's a feeling of like a sense of pressure is what's coming up for me like they're like come on already let's go and you're like oh leave me alone oh. that's how it's coming across to me anyways <laughs> oh my god Oh, just, I just want to be done with all this nonsense. Leave me alone. That's how it's translating for me right now. Okay, let's see what um, is not happy in the field about proceeding with your, um, with the guidance. Um, Something about being scared alone. Uh, something about maybe home alone as a real young child or something. Okay, something like this. Okay. I'm going to have to be in charge. It's going to have to be up to me. This isn't fair. Okay. affirmation that seems to want to come through is I, I get to be magical creation. I get to relax and be magical creation. Um, this is important for you, Mary, is to recognize you. I am, I get to be, I get to be, I get to experience or I get to be magical creation happening through me. Mm. I am the illumination in the dark. I am the infinite flame. I burn eternally within your soul. I make the sense of the heaviness and the darkness come into the light. Honor me and feel my presence in your body and your awareness. Until the end of time. Better for sure. What else? Persecution energy on the neck. Okay. I willingly surrender to magical creation. I release attachment to my body in any form. 
There's my attachment to body and my body in any form. Okay. In any form. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. You get to be guided, led. Um, there's unconditional happiness and joy, whether you're recognized by others in the world or not. You're recognized always in spirit by your entire team, and you revel in it, and you revel in the presence of the source itself. You know, magical creation is happening through you effortlessly next, uh, right now, always right now. And then the words are coming through. The master course has begun. Follow me. And I get images of like Mother Mary, Archangel Michael and Jesus. It sort of feels like maybe you're meant to create a course or something, maybe with them. So, we can help you. We can um, help you. Let it be easy. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to leave it at that on that one. Okay. All right. That was awesome. Um, let's see. Lisa says she liked the technique. Does it bring more creativity? Yeah, I feel so. Absolutely. Um, Brian says, thank you for the alignment. My left side feels better. I've had some issues there and could feel something happening. Now the left side of my head feels clearer. I appreciate the clarity on what was happening. Okay, cool. Hi, Stella. Okay, great. I don't know if there's any other energy scans. And again, I apologize that for whatever reason on my screen, some of the comments haven't been showing up today, but definitely felt more balanced, Lisa says. Cool. That is so awesome. Okay. Just double checking to see if I possibly missed any comments. Say thanks. Made me laugh. <laughs> okay, good. That's always good. That's the best medicine, right? Laughter. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So the question coming up for me is, who would like to joyfully manifest more opportunities? Who would like to joyfully manifest more opportunities together with me who would like to joyfully manifest more opportunities together with me um in divine partnership whatever form that might want to take okay so um if that's you just put yes below and um and then and then if i'm joyfully guided i will reach out to you and see if there's a way I can joyfully um, support you to create more joyful opportunities to manifest for you. Um, I work creatively with people and um, I always usually have at least one or two or three um, specific offers at any specific time. This is how I'm supporting people. Um, hmm. and I say, no, I, there's nothing else for me to share with you today on that. Okay, great. All right. So if you want to jo joyfully manifest more opportunities together with me, just say yes below. Okay. All right. So other than that, Okay, so we're going to do um, a few channeled messages and then a channeled prayer. Okay, so let's do the channeled messages next. Okay. 
Amen. Joyfully create with great pleasure. Remembering the bosom of your soul is teeming with joyful creation. It's your divine birthright to experience it, to experience the levity of life. when you feel the heaviness and the old stories come up to laugh and to joyfully create that which is ripe in the bosom of your soul. Give, give mankind a laughing chance. <laughs> A laughing chance with kindness, love, and compassion for all. Lay on hands to those that call for your presence. Connect from the sacred hearts into the oneness from which you all emanate. Know the wisdom of discernment guides and leads you from your higher self when you're in this connection. Let it be well. Thank you. Okay, so that's just a general channeled message overall. Let's see if I'm getting any other specific ones. So, Kind of feeling to go into our channel prayer for today. Um, formal channel prayer. If you'll join me, take that nice deep breath then. In through your nose, up through your crown chakra, up through your higher self, up to love, light, source, energy, up into the all in all. And as you exhale through your mouth, let this energy come back down through your higher self, down through your crown chakra, down through all your chakras, through your physical body, through your field, down through your feet, down through your root chakra, down to the core of the earth. So I speak these words and they I am for everyone that listens to my voice as I recognize God, love, life, source, spirit is all there is. I'm grateful for the joyful opportunities to experience love, the magic and mystery of life unfolding through the sacred heart, knowing that I'm ready to receive and to give simultaneously as I know it's all one thing. So as I allow it to be so, I'm grateful for the, for for this love, for this givingness of life, to experience the magic of life, wanting to unfurl itself through me. That I'm grateful to, to trust the power of source within me to flow through my energies and my chakras, to flow and to show up, to lead the way as the, the light leader that I am and to magically manifest all joyful opportunities for me and others to love and co-create a greater experience for all. As I say yes to it, I cross off my list, the, the old old school rules and ideas of the way things are supposed to be, and start focusing on the joyful opportunities that call to me now. From that place, I'm creating from pure joy, self-care and love, and knowing that I'm living in a lap of luxury from this space. From that space, I know material ism uh, may come and go, but the eternal uh, flame of source burns eternally, joyfully and triumphantly through me, through all, all concepts and all um, ideas and all machinations of the mind around what's manifesting and what's not. From that place, I joyfully am able to serve at a higher level, in a deeper way for the higher betterment of mankind. From this place, I experience the true riches and know that things like sales and financial riches can be added on to me as it serves the highest good for me and all. From this place, I'm grateful to be the world-changing light leader that I already am 
that's the full embodied joy and pleasure and fulfillment that wants to unfold through me again for the highest good of all. So I let it be so, I rest and let it be, knowing as I'm guided and grounded and landed and in my power, knowing I get to choose from my connection and it's choosing me, uh, it's choosing me, it's choosing for me what is true for me right now. I'm in that place of truth and living from that truth and knowing that I can trust the emanation of the presence and radiance within me to manifest everything and that it's far greater than anything my mind can conceive. As I let it be so, I rest and play and enjoy living from this lap of luxury of this beautiful energy inside of me, letting everything detail itself out with joy, lightness, and ease from this space. Letting go, letting God. Uh, delegating that which isn't mine to do, allowing others to support me in my life in the ways that call to the highest for me and for all. So I give myself to it. I know all is provided more abundantly than I can possibly imagine. And as I let it be so, it's already accomplished. So I let it be done. I know it's, I know it's already here now. So as I let it be so, I let it be done. Thank you, God. And so it is. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay, so grateful. So grateful to be coming back. I'm just so grateful to share with you here each Monday. Um, next Monday, actually, I will not be doing a Facebook Live just because I'm going to be on a little vacation mode. So with... Uh, Thanksgiving holiday, you know, here in the States next week. But I will be back the following Monday. So in two weeks from now, do another one at 3 p.m. Central. Um, and so I look forward to that. All right, everybody. Um, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Coco. Thank you for all your wonderful comments and showing up here today to receive. It's my great blessing to share with you and to be with you. Okay, lots of love and blessings and goodbye for now.